Hey there everyone, what's going on? Welcome to Legacy Studio Reviews with another video here, uh, reviewing another product for videography or photography. Uh, today, I got one in the mail just now, and I figure we'll go ahead and cover it. Today, I'm reviewing this guy, the TT685. This is going to be my official unboxing. I've yet to open it myself. Now, this has been in the market for a long time now, as far as I know, but I do think that I'm excited because I'm a videographer and I don't usually reach into the world of photography but I've been doing a bit more more recently for my job at, at uh, Star Radio and if you want to learn a little bit more about that look up Star Radio Digital on Facebook you'll get all the answers you need to know I'm a morning show um, host I do a video uh, podcast every single morning at 9 a.m. at this point in time right now and uh, love doing it and I've been doing tons and tons and tons of video it's my day job it's what I do and I've been taking a lot of photography and always wishing for that little extra edge and I think this is one of the ways that I'm gonna find my way there a little bit better let's unbox this see what we got inside here I did buy this on Amazon I believe I bought it new I don't think I bought it used uh, hundred and ten dollars thankfully I had a little bit of a discount uh, because of some extra gift cards I had handy anyone want a gel pack they taste really good um, uh, there is a manual now I did buy this one for my Sony camera apparently it did pass its quality check um, I bought this one for my Sony there's a warranty card in here and no one cares about that and probably no one really cares about the manual either and uh, neither do I Let's see what else we got in here as we open it up even further. We get into the case, and then it looks like the extra little card. And of course, the cleaning cloth, because for every single product you ever buy that has anything to do with camera gear, you got to get a cleaning cloth with it, because if you don't get a cleaning cloth with it, you're just not human. Let's open this up here and have a look-see. Uh, they offered a couple different options, but unfortunately one of them was out of stock. I wanted one with the mini soft box on it, like I use with my lights right here. And of course they didn't have one, and so the other option was this, which I would say is another form of soft box. Uh, black bottom, white top, uh, transparent white top, same as this around here, shall I say translucent. And just a stretchy band thing. I think they'd work just fine, obviously. But uh, if you want to be a bit more picky, uh, you can wait a couple days and another one will come in. I will, of course, include a link down below where you can purchase this. I did quite a bit of research. GoDocs definitely interested in me. Wow, that's bigger than I thought it was. There's a little thing on the back here full of uh, some stickers for Velcro. Looks like a whole bunch of gels for color, but we'll come back to that hopefully. We'll see. Um, I want to get right hit down here to the lens. The options for the lenses, they had quite a few, obviously. Uh, no, there's more here. Oh, okay. This is the stand for it. We're going to put that right near here. Uh, plenty of different options from Godox, um, but I wanted a really good quality flash. And uh, this guy is heavy without batteries in it. There's actually some good weight to him. He feels really, really sturdy. Uh, I appreciate that this does have a rotating head, which they don't say in any of their... Uh, ads about it. Uh, let's see here if I turn this. Yeah, that's nice and smooth too. It's not clicky. It's nice and gentle. Uh, that's clicky. Uh, 45, 60, 75, and of course all the way forward. That's pretty sweet. I like that. The construction of this is excellent. It really is. It feels very, very good. Feels like something you'd spend a lot of money for, which $110 in photography and video, that's really kind of cheap. Uh, got a great little diffusion and card, and this is one of the main things I really, really wanted to have. And so I got that, thankfully. So let's go ahead and push that down. That locked away pretty well. I don't have any batteries, so I'm going to have to get some real quick. They did not include batteries, but here you go. Nice little hot shoe mount here. Let me unscrew this and take the protective... Just shoot the protective thing off into my closet. And there you go. So nice little mount there for my camera. Uh, I do like this, that they include a little um, uh, thing here so you can put it on a table and it'll keep its balance. But let me go find some batteries real quick. Oh, and also a mount down here, so that makes it easy if you want to just hook it onto something. Let me go find some batteries and we'll see about what happens. All right, we got batteries. Now here's the thing. 
The TT-685 is really, really nice as far as I can tell from all the reviews. The little brother below it, I believe, is the 600, not quite as powerful. Um, I think there were a few different things about that one. Didn't have TTL, that was one thing, it was an all-manual flash. And I've been learning a lot about TTL. Uh, can't say I completely understand it, but I'm getting there. And in other news, the model below that, which was, I believe, the TT350, um, is also great, but not as powerful as this. And most of the shooting I do is outdoors, so I'm looking to use this for light fill and things of that nature. So let's go ahead and put the batteries in. I got some cheap Rayovax here. Uh, the door opens up pretty smoothly. There is no instruction. There they are, okay. I was looking for which way I need to put my batteries, or, you know, positive or negative. They just kind of bounce right in there. There we go, and now we can close it up, push it down, and push it up to lock it in place. Here's the official turn on for the first time. Here we go. Cute little beeps, and it says TTL at the moment. And I do like that it's a backlit screen as well. That's pretty nice. All right, so I'm gonna turn this off just for the moment while I talk about my camera. I, I carry two cameras with me pretty much everywhere I go. One is a Sony A6000, and then the other one is a Sony A6300. Uh, my 6300 is dedicated towards shooting video, and my 6000 I usually dedicate towards shooting pictures. Great cameras, both have the same ASPC, um, uh, ASP Type-C, uh, card in them. They're the same size and everything, but uh, the 6300 has a whole bunch of extra features far beyond this one, making this one perfect for photography, not so much for videography. So, well, first thing I want to try is, as you can see, I put a large um, rig guard around this camera. Uh, small rig is the brand. I have it on both of my cameras and I really appreciate having it. Nice extra protection since I do take these with me literally everywhere every day um, in the same way that a vlogger would. But as you can see here, if I look at the top of my stuff, there's not a lot of room here to put a uh, flash. So we're going to see if this will mount on there without me having to take off the case. And if so, then we'll take off the case and see what happens. So first off, we'll unscrew this a little bit. It seems pretty sturdy. It is made of all plastic. And uh, even some of the shoe here is made of plastic, so that's something to keep in mind. Gotta be gentle with it, no metal. Let's go ahead and see if it'll push into place here. It did push into place, and it looks like there is just enough clearance. Wow, that's really actually kind of cool. I don't know if that's all the way in. It seems to be, I can't guarantee that, but we're gonna find out in a minute here when we try and test this flash. Go ahead and turn on the camera. Once again, we'll turn on the flash. There's a quiet little beep and I'm okay with that. I don't need any loud beeps. Uh, the flash on my camera, the notification on my camera does show a flash right over here, so it is reading a flash at the moment. Uh, just for giggles, let's uh, take a picture. I'm gonna go ahead and take my circular polarizer off the front of here. I am using a Canon lens on this uh, camera because my other lens goes on my video camera. So let's go ahead and try and take a shot and see what happens here. All right, it did take a picture instantly and uh, it, did, it has TTL set, it has auto zoom set. Oh, okay, hang on a second. The screen has turned off, okay, that's fine. All right, so I just took the cage off of my camera, and the main reason is because I'm thinking that, that is, the flash is bouncing into the cage a little bit, and that's okay. I'm not concerned about that so much. Uh, just, it would have been a nice bonus to not have to worry about the cage. But let me go ahead and slide this on there. Now it's sliding on there nice and deep, and that flash is staying up. When I tried to put it on here with the cage, uh, I could see that that little icon was going on and off, so the cage was kind of pushing it around a little bit. Uh, let me go ahead and try a couple things here. I've never never really focused on using a flash before, but let me try this really quick and just take a picture of the flash here. There we go. That seemed to do pretty good. Let me tilt it forward a little bit and try another one. I mean, it seems to... Yeah, it seems to do just fine. Let's try two pictures really quick. Okay. 
So right there, I did see an area where it did not do the flash, so there is a little bit of a delay. Let's try it again. So there's your first flash, waiting for the light to turn red, and there's a second flash. So you can see that it's turning off, and then once it's recycled, it rebuilds back up. Not a big deal in my mind. I actually am totally okay with that, because I don't focus on taking a lot of pictures very quickly. So I'm excited about this, because this has given me something I've wanted to do for a while, and let's get some really, really great photography. Um, and the flash seems very well built. I'm a little worried about the plastic shoe on the bottom, but at the same time, I'm not surprised. Uh, for only 110 bucks, uh, this seems to be a really, really good value. It definitely has put some weight on the camera, but at the same time, I don't mind. Uh, let's try another picture. Okay. In messing with this, I obviously have a lot to learn, because I have no idea how to make it work if I wanted to use the on-camera flash to trigger this flash. I haven't quite figured it out just yet, but I'm really excited to have this. Now, there is a trigger that I'm looking at getting, and it's also in from Godox, and it's a flash uh, trigger, and it's a really nice one. It's called, I think it's called the X-Pro. And the thing that's great about it is you can then remotely trigger several flashes of several different varieties all off of this single trigger, which is pretty sweet. So it's all stuff that I still have to learn uh, and stuff that I'm going to, of course, recover, uh, recover, review here on this channel. And uh, we'll figure it out together because I've w one thing I love to do is I love to teach and learn at the same time. And there's a lot of things that I'm watching in all these videos on this flash that I would still like to learn that no one is covering. And either no one's covering it because no one knows, or no one's covering it because they don't think that someone, like a newbie, like myself, would care about that because they don't utilize it in that way every day. Wow, I'm getting so excited about this, I almost finished off the video without looking through the rest of the box. Uh, let me go ahead and set down the camera here. And we're going to go ahead and pick this up. This is what comes with the kit uh, for this camera. Now, uh, th this is for the, the link I'm showing you has these extra parts, uh, just to let you know. Let's take a look and see what exactly this is and what it all entails. So first off, I'm seeing a piece of Velcro here that's the soft Velcro side. Now, I have this right here, which is rather confusing looking. It's got two holders. It looks like it's glued together like this on purpose. And it's got a soft Velcro on one side and a hard Velcro on the other. So there's not really any way to utilize the hard Velcro, I guess. I'm not sure. So I'll have to look at the manual on this. Now, there's room to put your bounce cards in here. And this other one, I'm not so sure, unless it's a storage area for all your cards. And I'm, I say the word bounce cards, but what I mean is gels. And I'll show them to you right here. I don't think I'm going to utilize these very much, if at all, but it's worth looking through anyway. Uh, there are quite a few gels here, and they got a little white piece of paper in between them. Blue, yellow, purple, um, a warmer yellow, a lighter, almost lavender purple, a very lavender purple, green, um, I'm seeing a couple tints of blue, orange, like pure orange, a uh, deep purple blue, almost like um, a royal blue, and red as well, uh, and also like a neon green kind of look. So very interesting. I guess it'd make more sense to hold it up to you and show it to you with the white there. Um, so there's quite a few options here when it comes to gels, and I would kind of assume just looking at how they're laid out here, that they would go in this pocket of this fold here, and they would just sit there, and that would be their storage area. There we go. So it looks like they kind of sit in there just like that. I don't know, but it would make sense to me. Now, this right here, I'm assuming that you would wrap that around the flash itself, around the top of the flash here. So let's take a look real quick. Uh, 
Um, a knife? No? Not quite? And there you go. Almost seamless. So, there it is with the Velcro pretty roughly mounted on there. I didn't do a great job on that side, which you probably can't see, which I'm okay with. Um, but now, with this so crudely mounted on there, now, hopefully, this can just hook on here and here, like that. And there you have it, kind of like that. And then the bounce cards can all sit nicely in this one. So if we grab the blue out of here, uh, like this, and stick it into here, like this. There we go. Now, put it back over top, and I should have some kind of weird, crazy blue flash. Interesting. There you go. And that's what came with the rest of the kit, uh, other than just an obvious lens cleaner, which they get old, you collect a million of them if you buy a lot of uh, production gear. But I think that's it. I think I, think I got it. So yes, I have a lot to learn, and I'm very excited to learn more, and then I'll share that with you guys if you want to learn more. This channel, of course, is about reviewing products, but at the same time, it's unboxing and it's learning on the go, learning how to utilize these products, because I'm very excited about my future getting to play with Flash, because I've always felt that taking pictures for me has never been a very successful thing. I'll take a picture, and it looks like a picture I took on my phone. And then I look at people who grab a flash and know how to control the atmospheric um, effects, the flash power and things like that. And the stuff they're coming out with looks photoshopped right there in that moment. And I also have a friend who shoots parties and weddings and things like that just using a flash and a simple bounce card. And that seems to make all the difference as well. So. I'm in the game. We're going to see what happens, and if I find anything interesting, I'll share it with you right here. So if you follow along, subscribe. Uh, I look forward to many more videos with you, showing you all the little details that I learn as I learn the world of production. And I've been doing production for many years. I'm a videographer by trade. I've been doing videography since 2008, and I'm fully employed full-time at Star Radio as a videographer and an editor among other things like being on camera and having my own news show. So there you go. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio Reviews. Thank you so much for hanging out. And uh, you know what? Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll flash you on the way out. See ya.